Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be talking about Stepford County Railway version 1.4. This update contains quite a lot of stuff from the new trains, new routes, the new stations and stuff that haven't been able to make it into this version. So let's start off with the new trains. So in this update there is realistically only one new train, and that is the Class 43. As the Class 801 is an exact replica of the Class 802. Which is the train from the Air Link that it was new gen. There is no new Connect trains, but there is new Connect and Express routes. As the Express is the new operator that operates the Class 43 and the Class 801. The new routes, there are four express routes, Stepford Central to Benton, to Leighton Stepford Road, and then two to Lynn. And there are three connect routes, Stepford Central to Lynn, Stepford Central to West Wyvern, and a Stepford Victoria to Lynn, which is run by a class 68. As well as the new routes, there is new stations. There is in total, there are seven new stations in this update, which are served by Connect and Express, breezing the brand new routes that were added in this update. The quality of the map on this update is not the best. Stefford County Railway showed that they can make good quality sections of map when they updated the section between Stepford Central and St. Helens Bridge by adding a curve from the already straight line and adding buildings around, making the area look nice and more of a city-like area than just a decal spam section. The section between St. Helens Bridge and Coxley is plain and boring. Now, I would have expected at least some roads, maybe even a small houses. I wouldn't even mind decal spam, but it's empty. It's just a field, which you wouldn't expect to be right next to the city centre. Then we have the section around West Wyvern, which is plain, empty, and the tracks are curving. To a, like a 90 degrees curve but they're bumpy so it makes using the camera angle horrible that bit could have been improved as well the entrance to Lynn looks really nice after you go into the tunnel though the tunnel section looks beautiful and when you go into the station on the outskirts of the tunnel not the best there is gaps in the hill section which you can notice if you look around um, one of my favorite parts of this map is the extension at least is between Edgemead. My one of my favourite sections of this map extension is between Edgemead to Westercoast. The area is just beautiful. They did a lot of detailing. There's Famir, which is a beautiful station with the quad track section. It just it's mwah, beautiful. Five out of five. You get you get the full five squid guarantee. But there are sections where they could have uh, improved. Now. There is things that were meant to be in this update that got pushed back for reasons that I don't know properly. So for example, there were a couple of new gen trains, the class 319 and 321 I think it was going to be. Then we have the Leighton City change that uh, looked beautiful, but we didn't get the beautiful version of Leighton City. And then it was also the Whitefield change, which again, we will not be seeing until the next update. Which brings me on to the next thing. What can Stepford County Railway do to improve the game now? Well, if you've noticed they're doing a Whitefield upgrade, they're probably going to just be upgrading the already stations to improve them to a higher quality. As they've terminated the line now at Lynn, and the only way they can extend the line is if they do a branch line or extend off the water line at James Street which that can only go for a small amount. The Stepford County Railway could come towards an ending. So time for the overall question. Is Express worth it? Well, it's up to you. If you want to go fast, enjoy speed and not stop much, then Express is for you. If you want to go on a connect train and stop a lot, get more points, then connect is for you. So I think version 1.4 was an important update to make sure Stepford County Railway stays alive. 
as they've got to a point now where there are other train operating games that are a much more higher quality and are much more better than Stepford County. I won't mention them, but I will show them on the screen. If you'd like to see a series on this game, go click on that uh, poll. You know you want to.